the reason behind all this has been to enable people to work better, maybe live better as a consequence, by allowing them to connect to the information that they need on the device that they want to use at an appropriate time in a location that's best serving for them to make them more productive. Um, when we walk into most meetings, there's often a, an array of uh, laptops, uh, tablets, smartphones are kind of laid out on the table. And the reason why people do that is because they get some kind of benefit. They can work and sit side by side with their customer, regardless of whatever that is. So if they're a, um, if they're a doctor and they can sit by the patient and you know, look at their healthcare records, look at their x-rays and you know, really consult with them, and then just turn to the next patient and have all of that confidential information securely delivered to that device. It's giving them you know, some real value to focus on what it is that they want to do, which in the healthcare sector is you know, create better patient outcomes. In a school, we're focused on you know, enabling children to, do, you know, to reach their maximum potential. If you're in a manufacturing organisation, you're looking to have an efficient, uh, smooth process. The principal um, overriding factor there is often security driven. So you know, how can we keep control of our data? Uh, how can we ensure that the users that we're um, providing access to are allowed to access that? Now in this cloud area, the workspace is all the things that the user needs in terms of their desktop, their information, their applications, their documents, where it's that the primary value and the primary benefit of the experience and the investment in IT is going to be driven by the software that they're installing and not in terms of the hardware that they're using. So really when we think about how is this going to impact um, organisations, it comes into one of three areas, or all of three potentially. It's around how the workforce is going to be able to engage, so that you know, the, the uh, human resource that they have within the business, the processes and how can we transform how they go about doing their business. Certainly in the retail sector, as soon as you have that kind of face-to-face -face contact, organisations look at, well, how can we get closer? And in that environment, when it's a bit more relaxed, you're more trusted, then obviously it's a better environment for them to sell on those other products or services. And the other thing that um, is being impacted upon is around the use of real estate. So how organisations are looking at the investment that they have in terms of their fixed offices. If we're disconnecting where the user is away from a, you know, that traditional desktop, we need to make sure that the network's consistent, that we understand who the users are, that it's secure. The basis being that the services can be created and delivered from anywhere and consumed anywhere on any type of device, giving them that consumer experience. So if you want to use a MacBook or if you want to use um, a standard PC or a thin client or something else, kind of free to do that.